All right, guys, I'm going to put a link to a video in the description box below. It's the one where the uh, Detroit police arrested the um, what they call First Amendment auditors. Remember that? And Wolverine Transparency's phone was still recording in the evidence bag. Um, so I had been combing the Internet and looking for a news story. I mean, this, this I was like, this is big. This is huge. This, somebody has to be reporting on this. And I could not find anything to identify who they were. Um, you know, I had really believed that a DPD, DPD sergeant, that's Detroit Police Department, sergeant had handed the equipment off to another DPD sergeant to take the equipment back to the station and log it into the evidence room. That's, you know, what my belief was the whole time, like, because they got arrested. People were saying, well, they're being taken to Precinct 4. I said, oh, okay, so all their equipment must be going to Precinct 4, Detroit Police Department. Those got to be Detroit police officers. Finally, somebody at the Detroit Police Department got back to me. And I, I have every day I've been looking. I've tried to contact uh, Detroit Police Department, but they're probably getting so many phone calls from YouTubers. They, it's, it's just hard to get through. But somebody on Facebook got back to me from Detroit Police Department. But they did an investigation, and those two people, the guy that goes, Hey, what our Momo got arrested? That one, they were telling me are security officers at the Water Authority. Not security guards. Security officers. That's why they can handle the evidence. It makes sense. I mean, the VA don't necessarily have security guards. They have security officers, uh, the VA, because it's federal. Well, I believe the Water Authority is federal too, right? Um, what happened then, the story's starting to come together, to come to fruition, is that it makes sense that the DPD sergeant or one of the officers handed over the equipment to a Water Authority security officer who logged the equipment into evidence because... They did say somewhere along the line that the FBI and Homeland Security were going to be asked to get involved, especially when you have recording of the area. And you can record from a public place. I mean, I can go to the FBI office in Langley, stand across where there's a public sidewalk, and record them all day long. But the contention is that they trespassed, were asked to leave, came back, went back on the property. I'm not saying they did this. This is the allegation. And therefore, that's why they were arrested. So that's why all their equipment will be sent to Homeland Security or the FBI, I guess. And so again, somebody at the department, uh, somebody at the Detroit Police Department got back to me and said, those are water security, or uh, yeah, water authority security officers. And uh, that's another reason I, put in if you watch the video I call them Michigan public officials because they are public officials that said uh, they still are Michigan public officials to me the water authority is in Michigan they're working there um, so my point is I think the governor of Michigan or the attorney general needs to get involved and ensure that there's action taken against those two individuals for unprofessional behavior, for racial epithets. People say, well, they have free speech just like anyone. No, they don't. Once you're, when you're working for an agency like that, whether it be Detroit Police Department or whether it be the National Security Agency or whether it be the Water Authority or the VA office, once you clock in and walk through that door, your free speech is shelved on the outside of that door. You don't have free speech in that building. The reason is, you can't just sit there and go, yeah, that more N word, you know, you know, go go do that to your CEO or go do that to your, you know, department director. See if they go, yeah, fist bump. No, they're gonna go. Excuse me, excuse me. Have a seat. You know. 
So you don't have free speech. That don't tell me you have free speech in the in, in, when you're working as a public official or public servant, because you don't. You may have free speech in a t-shirt and jeans when you're walking downtown at the mall, but when you're in suit inside those doors, you do not have the right to free speech because you are representing a public entity. And again, I'm being told that those are water authority security officers. I have no reason to, de- to not believe the Detroit Police Department, um, but the, I hope hopefully the Detroit Police Department will understand that because of what those two people did, you guys are getting all the heartache from it. I'm not blaming you. I'm saying you should be pissed off. You should be calling the Water Authority and going, hey, are you guys doing anything to those two people? Because we're getting all the phone calls. We're getting all the blame. But I wanted to clarify, uh, just so the right people get blamed in the right manner. So if it was the Water Authority, you need to get down there and find out who those two people are. Because you know what? They caused a huge stir. They knocked the hornet's nest out of the tree and it bounced off the ground and broke open. You know what I mean? Thank you guys for watching Community Leo Watch. I watch Leos. That's law enforcement officers and public officials.